Hey guys, how's it going? So I got a few questions that were put to me on Twitter. So here we go. Hey Stefan, what do you think uh, web developers also studying and getting involved in cybersecurity as it is one of the aspects of being a web developer, right? Um, security and cybersecurity is a, a broad subject. So if you're a web developer, yes, you have to implement certain basic security protocols in terms of authentication, in terms of the basic structure of your web apps. This typically will be handled by uh, web frameworks. So on PHP, it would be Laravel. On Node, it would be Express, as an example. Python, Django, etc. So yeah, security is an issue, but it is uh, cybersecurity and locking down servers and all that kind of stuff. That's a specialization. Now, that's cool, and there's a, a market for that. Um, like I always say, if you're looking at any market, any type of job, you know, look at the job opportunities in your area, right? You'll find that different parts of the world, different cities, different states, different provinces, there'll be different demand for, for different skills. The, the skills, for example, I know in Germany, c is very big. And I know in India, PHP is very big, for example. And so you have to look into that. So yeah. If you want to become a web developer, should you start spending all kinds of studying cyber, all kinds of time studying cybersecurity? The answer is no. You learn your basics. So basic security will be uh, built in and uh, structured in any web app, any web application framework that I, I just mentioned a few before. But it's not something to get caught up in unless you want to become a cybersecurity expert. The thing I see people out there in the YouTube world, they go out there and they hear one person say, oh, you got to learn this. And another person, you got to learn that. And you got to learn this. And you got to learn that. And what happens, you get, you get caught like a dog chasing your tail, never ever getting anything really done. And you get caught up in the chasing of what has to be to learn, what's hot today. Any expert developer will tell you the key to becoming a professional developer the quickest is to concentrate on the fundamentals, stick to something that's interesting to you and there's an audience for it, meaning there's potential jobs and you can just look around, look for job postings, etc. and concentrate on that. Don't worry about the noise about this hot new language or this hot new framework or crypto or cybersecurity or whatever. You have to make a decision at some point and, and get competent there. The great thing about getting into technology is that you can't really make a wrong decision because let's say you learned something that you thought was cool, you thought there might be opportunity, and you spend six months learning it, a year learning it, and then you're like, ah, this language here is not popular. This framework here is not popular. The good thing is, if you're trained properly, you have a good fundamental understanding of tech in general. So it doesn't matter. You could pivot from C Sharp to Java like this, from PHP to JavaScript like this, from Python to JavaScript like this, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's not a big deal. So make a decision based on A, what you like, and B, what the job opportunities are right now. Don't worry about five years from now, 10 years from now, worry about now. But the key is just to get your foot in the door, uh, do something uh, related to coding. I assume you want to be a coder here. So again, to conclude, do you have to learn cybersecurity to become a web developer? Short answer is no. Do you have to learn some basic security? Yes. But again, that will be taught in a decent course. And uh, a lot of it is in the frameworks, for example. A lot of it is in the frameworks. In terms of web apps, modern hosting will have all kinds of security built in to begin with. So there used to be a whole bunch of things that I won't get into now, where it was kind of the doors were left wide open. But these have been shut largely when it comes to security. Now, it's always a cat and mouse game between uh, security lockdown versus uh, nefarious ha hackers figuring out a new, a new hole to s sneak into. But you have to decide, Are you a, do you want to be a cybersecurity person or do you want to be a developer? Look at the professions, look at the opportunities in your area and make that decision. Don't try to straddle the fence and try to be everything. That's not going to work out for you. All right, I hope that's helpful. Thanks for watching. I'm Steph.